This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. So who doesn't want to shed a few extra pounds for the summer? <laughs> summer is here officially, and you know that what you can do to maybe shed those few extra pounds might be just a few habits you need to break. We're here answering a couple questions you might have this morning with Baptist Health Dr. David Gerson of Sherwood Family Medical Center. And I'm sure you probably get asked quite often, how do I lose those few extra pounds? Maybe you say to someone, hey, you know, you gained a few over the last yeah. year. And yeah. the next question is, okay, well, how do I lose them? What right. are some of the common ways? What are four things we can so do? So we break talk it? about, yeah, so there's, you know, there's a famous book that came out, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. We have the four habits, and we've actually looked at the most popular or most effective weight loss plans, and there were four common trends, a couple of which are kind of surprising. The first one is eat breakfast every day. This is really tough in America. We don't eat breakfast. We gotta grab a cup of coffee and a donut if we're lucky, but a lot of people skip breakfast. And breakfast, like your grandmother said, most important meal of the day should be the largest meal of the day. You know, breakfast like a king, supper like a pauper. We want you to exercise. And is it up there on the thing? Oh yeah, yeah. So 60 to 90 minutes. That's the tough one. So exercising, <laughs> you know, 45 to 60 minutes a day, um, you know, every day, four to five days a week. And it's not your normal, just what you do at work. It, it's actual d dedicated exercise. The other thing thing is you want to eat often and eat small. How many times a day do you recommend? So I actually five times a day. Okay. So that big breakfast, the small supper, a little uh, snack between lunch and breakfast, a little snack between lunch and dinner. Okay. And then last one, and this one really goes against what most people uh, think is, is a case, is weigh yourself every day. Mm. Have that scale outside your shower, weigh yourself in your baby suit, and you know see and just monitor that progress. So those are those four common habits. There's several other things that go along with that. I think uh, keeping a Diet log is uh, crucial. Dietary. Diet diary, right? Diary, yeah. Diary. So, and 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 I don't recommend the little um, uh, apps on the phone. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, too. I just I've been doing this for 20 years. Yeah. I've just not seen a lot of success with it. I also think the the veracity of the calorie counts on those apps. And the the, the for instance, I want to give you is there's a fast food restaurant which shall remain anonymous, <laughs> who actually makes uh, I, I recommend it. It makes a really healthy salad. Okay. They tell you they publish that it's only 370 calories a serving. The problem is they're also very generous. That salad you get is four servings. <laughs> so that's 1,400 calories. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where if you want to lose weight, you're trying to Consume about 12 to 1400 calories a day. And that's one salad right there, which and is almost one exceeding salad, that number. Almost exceeding it. Exactly. Wow. Okay. Uh, pack your lunch. I, I've, I've seen a lot of people say they've lost weight just not eating out for lunch. Just not eating out for lunch. It's huge. And that goes back to those fast foods. Remember the fast yeah. food salad? So uh, I'll tell patients look, you can go and eat a cheeseburger four times a day, a junior cheeseburger four times a day, and you'll actually lose weight. The point of that is it's 12 to 1400 calories. You'll die in a year of a heart attack, but. <laughs> <laughs> Going out and eating out at fast food, those kind of things, you're consuming these large amounts. You're pretty much consuming what you need for one day in one meal. Okay. Yeah. All right. Some great advice this morning. Dr. Gerson, thank you again. My pleasure. Hopefully helping some folks out there. You can, of course, contact the Baptist Health Helpline anytime at the number on your screen or go to baptist-health.com for more resources.